Let's look at technology and sustainability. Our planet is facing a climate emergency, which, if we don't tackle immediately, threatens every aspect of our life. I believe it is the number one challenge the world is facing at the moment, and the implications could dwarf those of the coronavirus pandemic. It has never been more urgent to create a more sustainable future for everyone. Instead of exploiting our planet, we need to look after it if we are to thrive as humans. And I believe technology and tech companies have a major role to play in a path to a more sustainable zero carbon world. I've been virtually attending the Mobile World Congress in Shanghai 2021 and was super pleased to see that sustainability is so high up on the agenda. It is good to see tech giants across the globe taking sustainability much more seriously. These companies have a huge responsibility to improve their own products and production processes and play a major role in creating innovations that will allow us to tackle the sustainability challenges the world is facing. As part of the event, Huawei hosted a sustainability panel called Connected for Shared Prosperity. All speakers agreed that reductions in emissions, more jobs and more initiatives in facilitating prosperity are needed to attain the UN Sustainable Development Goals for 2030 and the long-term goals of the Paris Agreement. It was good to see tech giants like Huawei showcasing their dedication to reducing carbon emissions, promoting renewable energy and contributing to a circular economy. For example, in 2020, the company recycled 4,500 tons of electronic waste and reduced CO2 emissions by 148 million tons. Tech companies also have a critical role to play in developing technologies that will enable our world to become more sustainable. The digitization and electrification of our world in conjunction with the production of zero carbon energy is a major step into the right direction. And for this to happen, we need the right technology and infrastructure in place, such as computing devices and efficient networks such as 5G. For example, electric and ultimately autonomous cars reduce emissions and electronic products from books to music reduce waste and the use of precious resources. Digitization also enables us to make things more efficient. For example, using computer algorithms and machine learning to optimize the energy distribution and consumption. Digitization also allows us to hit other sustainability goals, such as quality education for everyone. For example, during the pandemic, we have seen the creation of more digital education content than ever before. And we have created systems and platforms to provide education to everyone. With the right tech infrastructure, this education can be made available to everyone, every single child across the globe. For example, Huawei's Tech for All, Connecting Schools and DigiTruck programs have been brought to more than 200 schools, benefiting over 60,000 teachers and students. In a related program, Huawei is also collaborating with UNESCO on a three-year open school program in Egypt, Ethiopia and Ghana that will help schools improve digital skills and support online education. As Ken Hugh, Deputy Chairman at Huawei Technology, said in his opening keynote, innovation isn't just about solving the challenges we face today, it's about lighting up tomorrow. I believe that the only way we will be able to tackle the sustainability challenges is to work together across all countries and create a concerted effort to drive innovation towards zero carbon and a more sustainable world for everyone.